Okay, um, we're ready to get going, obviously. We have uh, been a long camp. It's a long week this week, honestly, because I think everybody's excited and ready to get to the game. Um, we still have preparations to do. We cleaned some things up today. We have one more run through, a quick workout tomorrow, and, uh, and it's trying to relax a little bit and get ready for a good football game. So I think we're just anx anxious. We've talked a lot this offseason, not a lot of change right now. In the last few days, everybody's as healthy as we're going to be, and uh, we're ready to get going. Questions? Mark, when you look at your depth chart, I think Kinjera is the only second team linebacker who's ever played in the game before. Just how much do you need to get those young guys? Right? Yeah, yeah. It was, it was funny during the walkthrough today. Well, not funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> it keep me up tonight, yeah. but uh, I was talking to those three uh, with Jamin and, and uh, DeAndre and Chris, and, and I was teasing them a little bit about, about some of that, but they'll be ready. They're, those guys are football players. Um, they're going to make mistakes, but that's okay. They'll make them going 100 miles an hour, and they have great intentions, and they've been practicing well, and I'm excited to watch them. Is Central Michigan a good team to play first from the standpoint you know you're going to play a well-coached team, a team that knows how to play? I mean, they're going to make you play as well. Uh, yeah, I, I think that from is. From that standpoint? It is true that way. I think, you know, any of the Mac schools, they're, 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 they're good football teams, and uh, they're well-coached, and and uh, they make you beat them, which is kind of the question you're asking. Yeah. They're, they're not, you, you can't just roll out there and win a football game against this team and quite a few of them in that league. You have to go win the game. You have to play well. And, uh, and you know, that's what we're worried about. We're worried about us and the way we play and, and how we execute. And um, as I mentioned before, I think, you know, I, I have a good idea what this team can do, but we haven't seen them yet. So that's why we're, we're all anxious and ready to get out there. Along those lines is, are you looking for certain things besides just getting a win, but certain things you want to see from your team in this first game? You know, I'm always looking to see clean football. You know, if you if you watched uh, any football last weekend, and I mentioned this to the team, you know, and I don't mean this in any disrespectful way because I didn't watch a lot of them beginning to end, but I saw a lot of teams, you know, making mistakes and beating themselves, and, and that's what I concentrate on, trying to have us win the game and, and play well and play clean and, and uh you know, not not have a bunch of foolish penalties and turnovers and things like that. So I'm looking for a clean football game. How's Terry been in terms of ball security in camp? He's been good, but as you know, he's not taking the hits that he's going to take. And uh, you know, he did play a year ago. That's a good thing. So it's not like it's been that long. And he's played a lot of football. So, um, but it, it's different. And uh, so I think uh, you always worry about that some. I've heard coaches say before him? that you. You don't want to get him covered or anything or sacked, but mm -hmm. is it good to get a little bit of contact for him early just to get that? Yeah, I think I think feel. when you just when I'm sure he's ready to just play. Any of those guys have been in that situation, they're ready to get out there and just get back at it and, and have the contact and be live, you know, because we have to protect them through camp and in uh, rightfully so, you know, you know, but uh, but I'm sure he's anxious to get going. Are you yeah. scripting it? Yeah, we we'll, we'll script the first the openings, yes. Coach just talked about him being maybe a little amped up in the start of the spring game and on fan day even. How do you sort of calm that down or try to calm that down going into a game like this? Yeah, I, you know, he'll play. I trust him. He'll play. I mean, we'll, we'll have a, a few conversations, but I don't need to overdo it. You know, just, uh, you know, tell him we trust him, believe in him, and, and we'll, have, we'll have some talks, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about that. I'm, I'm anxious to see him play, to be honest with you. How does Walker help you as a scout team quarterback? Well, he's just a great teammate. He's a winner, as I've talked about many, many times. Uh, you know, he cares about this team. He he wants to get better. I think the nice thing for him, and he and I had a conversation when we, you know, did this, went in the scout teams and all that, and he was excited about it and anxious and wants to get better himself. He wants to help the team any way he can, and you got to love guys like that. So uh, Walker's been a solid guy, and, you know, so. Does his ability to sort of run and pass and do a lot of things, yeah. does that help you guys? It does. Defense? Yeah, it does. It, it kind of pisses you off some. <laughs> <laughs> but he, uh, he does a really good job. Did you Did put him on stilts this week to see the explosion? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we couldn't quite stretch him out to 6'7". He's so. a big energy guy. I would think that that would help, though, the scout team, especially when he like, always seems to be bouncing around doing stuff. No, he, it does. It definitely does. And it, more than anything, it's the attitude, and, you know, knowing his role and, wants to help the team, and, and he's getting better while he's doing it as well. Coach, you talked the other day about the mushy effect on special teams, other guys wanting to step up and yeah. have that role. Have you seen guys emerge in those roles? Yeah, and, and I, 
I really talk more about that after this week. I want to see what we do when the game's on the line. But I know this, we have more guys. You know, we have a lot of bodies out there. We have a good looking football team and some good young guys that are going to be athletic. And that's what you're looking for on those special teams, guys that can do a lot of roles. So. Good. You mentioned about yeah, you know, keeping you up at night. Mm-hmm. Does it matter the, no matter how, how old you are, how many years you've been in the program, you're still going to be worried about last second things right up to kickoff? Yeah, it, it, I think, imagine it'll always be that way. Yeah, I do. No matter how many years or what you've been in, how long you've been doing it, uh, I definitely, you don't want to make sure we're crossing our T's and dotting our I's. And I think we're a prepared football team, but you have to go out and play. And it's about having a mindset and an attitude and excited to go play the game. And uh, we shouldn't have any problem with that. Have you guys named captains or the team voted on guys? Not yet. Or We're going to go through that. Yeah. The, the team will decide the captains. How pleased do you want to see a young man like David Bouvier do the things he's doing to take the lead? No. Well, I'm really proud of, of David. He's a, just a great teammate. And, uh, you know, he has the respect of our coaches and, and the players on this team. And, you know, that's, that's uh, all any player can and ask for is when everybody really uh, looks up to him and looks at him and knows he's a guy that does things the best he can and is maximizing all his abilities. He does a phenomenal job in the classroom and you know out here and so he's he's a he's a quality guy. I also want to mention oh, that we you know we we are going to recognize John Schlarman and uh, Josh Pascal uh, on our helmets this year. We'll have a little uh, their initials. On a, on a small patch on the back of our helmet, and also we have these, you know, these wristbands that we gave to the team, or these little uh, bracelets or whatever they are. So uh, hold it up with a. But the uh, it yeah. says Schlarm and Strong and JP on three. That's what the team has been breaking down. You know, every time we break the team, they say JP on three, JP on me. So that's what we picked up on that. Put that on the wristband and uh, talked about that today at the team meeting. Very good. Thank you.